Hey internet, welcome back to my channel. Today I have the September Inku unboxing video for you guys. This came a little late. I feel like some of the mail's starting to get a little bit delayed if you watch the news. There's a lot of transport issues going around. So let's just get right into it. So, back to school. Inku never used to have themes and now I feel like they're starting to include a couple themes which I, I quite like. Um, so back to school if you're in the Northern Hemisphere. It's probably because this is around the time kids go back to school after their long summer break. It's the kind of opposite in Australia. Wow, this seems like a lot today. All right, so we have a pencil. And then ooh, we have a Zebra Click Art pen, which I probably already have this maybe. I'll have to double check because I bought a few sets of these, but let's try that at the end of the video. And then we have some washi tape. Can you guys see? It's so cute. It's like penguin with a little bow tie washi tape. Oh, actually, this is actually much clearer. It's, oh, there we go. So cute. And here is just a more close up view. Although I think the picture on the front is actually clearer because here washi tape is a little translucent. So you kind of see like faded versions of the penguin. Then we have some really cute heart sticker flakes. This is all the different colors here. Sticker flakes to me are really interesting. I really love them in small amounts. When you have large amounts, it becomes a little more, well, for me, challenging to use. So then I end up spreading them out and putting them on things for friends and stuff like that. Because otherwise you end up with like an entire page of just the same stickers. So, but like in like, like this to close out an envelope this would be adorable so they're quite glossy i almost feel like they're plastic the stickers themselves not paper so actually probably really nice to decorate envelopes or cards and stuff like that okay now we have it looks like a mini bento box it's so cute this is what it looks like it looks like the cutest little bento box ever but it's actually a sharpener so it goes into here and then Oh my gosh, you could actually store something here like erasers and then there's your pencil sharpenings. This is so cute. Ah, uh, I actually really love this. I think the concept is so adorable. Then we have notepad. Okay, a sticky note, a really big sticky note. Um, and here's kind of like how you could use it. So you've got your timetable section here for the whole day. I love that it's 24 hours total time, maybe if you're tracking things, and then your to-do list. This might not actually be a bad idea for um, work. I've been trying to figure out a better way to track long-term work items that I need to keep track of. Like I have my planner, Hobonichi, for day-to-day, -day, but what if I need to remember something maybe next week, but it doesn't have to be on a specific day. It just has to be sometime during the week. I just don't know how to track those sort of things yet. But um, this might be good more of general if I'm like the week off and then just put all the things you need to do for the week. Maybe, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's a massive sticky note. So you can put it in your normal planner. Like that. Um, oh, okay. This, what is this? Ah, okay. This is supposed to be like a mini tote bag. Um, it's going to be really hard to show because it's quite a bit larger. Let me take it out first. Can you, I'm going to have to lie it a little bit oddly in the, in the um, camera frame, but I really like this, um, which is weird. I feel like this would be a really good light shopping bag, um, especially if you're just going to the shop to grab a few items. This would be so cute, but it's a canvas tote bag. It's got a um, cat with peaches on it. It's not huge. There is another little pocket in here if you want to put something, I don't know, your phone or wallet and then just any other items in here. Um, but I don't know. I, I don't normally, I wouldn't normally buy tote bags, but when you get them, I keep all of them because they turn out being extremely useful for so many different things. And then the last one, oh, it's a Pokemon notebook. But it's like an actual branded notebook, not just a generic one. This is from Campus. I love their loose note paper. That's where I really use them a lot. So you, gr it's not grid, it's lined with some dots. So it's kind of like dot grid and line. But yeah, this is, I, I love these sort of notebooks. They're so great. All right, let's go test out that pen. 
So one thing I forgot to note is this is not actually a pencil. This is actually an eraser pencil. So I don't know if it's going to, but can you see how there's actually an eraser inside and not lead? So you just sharpen it like a normal pencil and it's actually an eraser, which I, I don't have anything like that. I'm going to be honest. I usually use these ones, which are like retractable erasers and you just put the refills in. I don't have anything quite like this one. So it will be very interesting to see how it goes. All right. So let's test out this one. Basically, it is a, it's weird that they don't have the stopper in front. Like that was one thing I noticed when I bought the whole pack, they all had the stoppers and it was take them all out. So I'm not sure why. It's basically a marker in pale orange. So let's try it out. Okay, it's more like a peach color, right? But it's really nice. And the good thing about this is if you notice, it's retractable. So it goes back in. You can still see the tip inside. Sorry, I've got it f focused on this. So it's going to be blurry if I show you. But And you don't need to have a lid on it because the ink, apparently, from what I've read, is designed especially not to dry up when it's in the pen. But obviously, it will dry up on the paper. So I find these really, really cool. I, I'm actually quite addicted to the Zebra Click Art pens. Uh, I've got one on my desk somewhere that I've been using obsessively in my Hobonichi because it matched the color of September perfectly. Um, so I really love them. Highly recommend them. And yeah, that is everything in the Inku September box. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I really love this box. So many great stationery items. And thank you so much for watching. This is Selena reporting from my room. Back to the internet. Mm -hmm.